The cosine rule can be used to find missing angles as well. So remember the cosine rule was a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Well, if you want to find out what uh, the angle is, then you're just going to rearrange this. So you're going to make cos a the subject. So if you know three sides, you can work out the angle. So you just rearrange it. So bring that over, bring it over. So you're going to get, if you bring the minus 2bc cos a to the other side and bring the a over to that side, you're going to get 2bc cos a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared. And then divide by the 2bc, so cos a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by bc, 2bc. <laughs> um, so you can just substitute the numbers into that and then do shift cos of the answer. Alternatively, um, sometimes I just put substitute the numbers into the normal cosine rule and then just rearrange it with the numbers involved, you know, rather than having to remember two formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one example by substituting the numbers into the rearranged formula and one way by substituting the numbers into the normal cosine rule formula and just rearranging that, okay? So that's probably what I would do on most occasions. So uh, let's put this into the normal cosine rule formula. So the cosine rule formula is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So let's substitute the numbers in, okay? So... Um, Let's call, well, this is going to have to be big A, the angle. So then that's little a, just that's important. And then B and C, doesn't matter which way around you call those, okay? So let's then substitute those in. So A squared is your 5.4 squared equals B squared, which is 6.1 squared, plus C squared, which is 5.8 squared, minus 2 times 6.1 times 5.8 cos of the angle A, if that's what we're trying to find out, cos X, I suppose. Um, so let's just work out this. So, five point four squared equals twenty nine point one six. Twenty nine point one six equals, and then I'm just going to work out this part here: the six point one squared plus the five point eight squared. So six point one squared plus five point eight squared equals 70.85, 70.85, minus 2 times 6.1 times 5.8, so 2 times 5.8 times 6.1, I'll put those in the normal round, it doesn't matter, is 70.76, and then times that by the cos of the angle A. So let's just rearrange this, so we're going to take, so do 20, um, 29.16, take away the 70.85, so 29.16 subtract 70.85 equals minus 41.69 equals minus 70.76 cos A, and then divide, so we're going to do minus uh, 4.1 six sorry minus forty one point six nine divided by minus seventy point seven six and that equals the cos of a don't know why I've written that out like that. So divide that by negative seventy point seven six and I get cos a equals to so not point five eight nine one seven four six seven five equals cos a and then do the inverse cos so shift cos Answer equals a or x, I suppose, equals 53.9 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, so you can just substitute it in and rearrange the numbers. Alternatively, you can use the rearrange formula. We'll do that now. Let's find the angle x here. So let's just label the sides. So that's going to be a, that'll be little a, and b and c will be the other two sides. So and it's the cosine rule formula, so the cosine, the rearranged one, was cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared, all divided by 2BC. I suppose it's actually quite easy this way. So cos X or A equals B squared, so 6.4 squared plus C squared, which should be 10.2 squared minus 14.6 squared all divided by 2 times 6.4 times 
Okay, so let's put uh, let's put that into your calculator. So, uh, I'm just going to work out the top line and the bottom line separately. So, six point four squared plus ten point two squared minus fourteen point six squared equals minus sixty eight point one six, and divide that by two times six point four times 10.2 equals 130.56 and let's divide and that gives you the cos of x so divide the minus 68.16 by answer so minus 0 0.5228058832 Three, five. Now, obviously, this is a negative. That's because this is an obtuse angle, okay? Because it's an obtuse angle, remember, looking at the cos graph, if you know what the cos graph looks like, the cos graph starts at uh, 1, goes down to 0 at 90 degrees, and then between 90 and minus, uh, between 90 and 180, it's between 0 and 1, 0 is 90, and to minus 1, so it becomes negative there, okay? Anyway, so shift cos, shift cos, of the answer equals 121.4722 degrees to two decimal places.